Four men have been struck dead in the past week by a serial killer that we at the Yard are calling the Poison Eveline. You can't prove anything. Posing as a door-to-door -door salesperson, the killer goes after their prey by selling poisoned apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Not if they're poisoned. He's not just a pretty face, is he? The killer carries out the murder by convincing her victims to take just one bite of the deadly apple. Apples can be quite hard and bitter, but they can also be quite soft, juicy. Soft apples? If you make them into a sticky jam or a saucy sauce. <sighs> right. We brought you in for questioning, as we know that you have a blossoming apple orchard. My pink lady apple garden. Oops. Our experts have taken samples from all the orchards in the area. Busy, busy experts. And forensics have traced the apple used to poison the victims to your garden. Busy, busy forensics. So, let me ask the obvious question. Where is your husband? What? We're looking for your husband and we can't find him. That's probably because he doesn't exist. We know the killer must be a very clever man. We believe he poisoned the apples and then dressed up as an alluring woman because, well, be good. Deadly apples are all connected to your orchard, which means that all fingers are pointing in one direction of your husband. I don't have a husband. What do you mean? I mean, I don't have a husband. But you're so old. I'm 38. And you don't have a husband? I think she's trying to say she doesn't have a husband. Ah, yeah? I'm not married. Why not? Maybe because she's so old? Maybe it's because I eat men for breakfast. Fast. <laughs> and what about children? They're too chewy. I froze my eggs. Selfish. Or practical. You think you've got this all figured out, don't you? Yup. You do realise that there is an unmarried man out there walking around in circles, childless, unwiped ass, in rehab with a microwave dependency. A man whose mum has to clean his house. All this upset because you don't want a husband. Can we get back to the murders? Answer me this. If you don't have or never wanted a husband. Then why is it that you go to the gym three times a week? To wear my Lululemons. But who are you maintaining your figure for? Aha! No, no, no. I love my wobble. Because then I can do this. This is shameful. <laughs> But surely you want your parents to have the opportunity to throw you a big expensive party where they can hand off their prized possession to a tall, fair doctor from Leicester. What kind of freak doesn't want their parents crying their eyes out at their own daughter's wedding in Leicester? A slut, that's who! I'd be careful how you talk to me, DCI Aria. Sat there with that big old bun on your head. <gasps> but neither of you have the faintest idea what I'm capable of. I am an ultimate temptress, a seductress! A siren who enchants, whispering my soft song in the ears of men! Go on, take one little bite. Sink your teeth in my apple. What a sight. You know it's right. I am the criminal! I am the unimaginable fiend, and I will not stop until somebody basically stops me. You're absolutely right. As a self-sufficient woman with a thriving business of her own, it is downright diabolical, bordering on offensive, that you refuse to marry. Perhaps she just hasn't seen what she's missing. <gasps> exactly. <clears throat> Exhibit one. Sunil, 41, paediatrician, Divorced three times because his ex-wives all wanted to be happy. Cheek. Exhibit two. Ranjit, 41, marketing exec. Also divorced because his wife didn't want his mum sleeping in their bed with them. What? 
Exhibit three, Ricky, the financial planner, who's had problems with dating women, but now he's discreetly, but voluntarily, undergoing conversion therapy. All three are in desperate need of a good wife. So, if I agreed to meet with one of these men, I'd be free to go. If you're seriously considering marriage, then yes, of course. Does Ricky like apples? Yes. Done. Good work today, Karim. Thank you. I think we really nailed that. Mm. She's a sweet girl. Just needed proper guidance. 